Hey, welcome back. So if you just, um, if you want to follow my code, then the first step you'll have to do is pretty much um, do a git checkout version uh, 014, like this. Already did it, so I won't do it now, but if you want to follow along with where I'm at, that's what you have to check out. Let's uh, have a look at what I want to accomplish. I want to let Angular know how to call our beautiful REST API. Not only the single REST API, but uh, sorry, not only the single function of posting, but everything. And luckily, AngularJS has something that can help us out there called uh, resources. And this guy right here is a service module that we can use. And, and the reason that I want to use it and show you this is that with pretty much a few lines of code, we can actually have the full setup in Angular so we can start creating, reading, updating, and deleting our syllabuses. You'll just have to accept that some of what I'm showing you now will be hard to comprehend and it'll take a few lessons for you to feel comfortable with it. But I'm going to try and show you anyway and, and let's see how it goes. So inside the controller, what's our goal? Our goal is to create a syllabus now. And I want to create something like this. I want to create some kind of service where I can just pass in the syllabus that we just saw in the last video and that syllabus I want that to then be saved and when it's saved I want it to just print out the syllabus in the console right now nothing else that's the goal of it and um, the way I'll do it is um, I'll create a service for us I'll create a service so I don't mix up uh, rest API functionality directly inside my controller. I want to split it out into its service of, of its own. That's just good design because then I can reuse it in other packages later if I want to, in other routes later if I want to. So I'm going to do that. So I want something like this where I can do a syllabus service that save and then I'll send in the new syllabus that I showed you before and then when it's done saving I want it to tell me just right now as a console log. That's the goal. And um, the way I'll do that is I'll start out by making a new file. And this new file will be called syllabus.service.js. Just like you saw before. Here we go, save this new file, and it pops up down here. But notice that as soon as I save it, something else turned yellow down here. Well, that's actually because while my grunt is running, it'll actually figure out that something new has been added automatically at this script down here for me so that everything is still running. You need to of course add all your scripts inside your index.html to read the files. But Grunt is doing it for you right now behind the scenes. Thanks a lot. So now that I created the file, I'm just going to paste in some code that I made earlier. I'm going to try to explain it to you. Every time in AngularJS, we can register modules um, and right now we have our module and that is called course planner app. So that's like, think of it like the global guy. He knows everything about everybody. And inside him, I can do dot factory to create a service. Or I can do dot controller, like I do here in my controller, to make a controller for Angular, right? So Angular has some specifics you can add to a module. In my case, I'm going to add a syllable service and all it pretty much is, is just a function and then something else happens here. It actually injects into that function. It tells the function for me to work, I dependency inject this resource thing for you. You need that and automatically behind the scenes, it's being generated for you and sent into the function. Again, don't worry too much about it yet. We'll do more of this later. And then the only thing I want this guy to do is pretty much explain the URI for my REST API. And if you remember it, it was slash API slash syllabuses and then an ID if you needed it. This is allowed not to be here, but it makes it available if I need it. Like I did with the get a single syllabus or the delete, what syllabus would I want to delete or the update, right? So this is all you need now. So if I save this, it means that now I can actually do the full REST API directly from the controller using this service. 
but I need to get that service inside the controller. And here I'll do another dependency injection here by a comma and doing a syllabus service here, saving that, and now I can actually start saving for real my syllabus. I just wanna make one more change because I messed up last time. I called this guy name, it should of course be title, right? Because it's the title field, so the syllabus name should be title and lecture. <clears throat> let's save this and let's uh, try to see if the code is still running. Everything's still running. So if I write um, JS Web Apps again, let's just do 2.0 and do myself again here, last builder, also do 2.0 so we're sure it's not already there. I do an add and I get something back with an ID actually, meaning that it's been past the database, coming back with a real response. And if I open my database here, RoboMongo, um, I'll actually see that it actually added the new JS Web Apps. Congratulations. You actually have a full running application now that saves directly to your database using a REST API. Be back for next lesson.